Welcome in everybody. We're very fortunate on the channel to have so many cool companies reach out to us and want to collaborate. And this is a care package from EFI Source. We're going to start by opening it up. And if you're not familiar with who EFI Source is, they produce uh, Megasquirt products. They have their own line of Megasquirt products that I have been using since 2016. So my BMW has a micro squirt from them. My brother's car and a couple of my friends have all purchased uh, micro squirt ECUs from them. And they have a new product that just came out called the MS3 Gold Light that uh, they have sent out and we're gonna take a closer look at. So let's get this guy out of the box and uh, we'll get it all unraveled so we can see what we've got going in here. Oh, this is awesome. Let's take a look here. Put this guy open and uh, take a little bit of a closer look. So, if it, to give you guys a little bit of background, my entire channel was built around uh, Megasquirt products and tuning. And the, the biggest thing for me was like value for money. So when I was first looking to put EFI on my BMW, uh, I was tight on budget and still always budget conscientious. And so I was looking for the best bang for the buck. The micro squirt is basically meant for power sports. It's very IO limited, but it's very powerful and uh, you can modify it to run a six cylinder or an eight cylinder, but it's typically meant for uh, up to four cylinders. And, um, that's what I originally put on my BMW and built the channel around the tuning for that. Now there's this new gold light from EFI source. And this guy you could think of as the bigger brother to the micro squirt. So this is an MS3 based ECU that has eight injector outputs, eight ignition outputs, six mid current outputs, four switched, three ADCs, flex fuel. Uh, it's got a four, it can handle four wire GM stepper idle controls. Uh, it's got CAN bus, internal data logging. Uh, you have USB-C um, connectivity. And uh, yeah, it's, this thing is definitely loaded. Uh, this is something that I would have loved to get my hands on many years ago, but it just didn't exist. So now that it exists, I'm, really thrilled about it and I want to test it out and see what we can do by putting it on my BMW. So um, after going over those specs, it's let's take a look at what we've got here. This looks to me like a Molex uh, CMC connector. So this is uh, similar to what it comes on the Max ECU. So it has a locking mechanism. So you slide it uh, it only keys in one way. Let's see. Just like, just like that. And then just lock it in like this. So this is a very high quality, uh, like industry standard connector. This thing is very light featherweight and a very good form factor. I mean, this thing's like, you know, the size of your palm. So you can tuck it away kind of anywhere. Uh, what's nice is they put the pin out on the back so you can easily uh, check that while you're doing some of the wiring. I'm gonna just disconnect this real quick and release it. And this, uh, as we go over this for value for money, this is pretty incredible because they offer this for LS engines for with a with a wiring harness, I think it's under a thousand dollars. Let me check on their website. Yeah, for nine hundred and eighty bucks, it shows on their website. They've got an LSX plug and play, so you can just drop that on. Or for six hundred and fifty bucks with an eight foot harness right here, you can get this whole setup. So you can rewire your entire car with an MS3 product and run sequential injection up to eight cylinders with all brand new labeled wires for 650 bucks, which I think is an incredible value for money. 
Um, I know there's a lot of products out there now that people are looking at for putting an ECU on your car, but it's really hard to beat if you're doing a more DIY approach. It's hard to beat wiring it yourself. Um, you can either shorten this up and make like a plug and play style adapter like I've shown on my channel. Um, so you can kind of mix it, run it parallel with either a stock ECU or just use the factory wiring harness and then connect this over to the wires in the factory harness or you can tear it out and rewire everything. I know for older cars, and when I talk about older cars, I mostly deal with 80s vehicles. A lot of the wiring on those is pretty much shot um, or in really rough condition, as well as the uh, connectors on the end. So I prefer on some of these older vehicles to just rewire the whole car. You get brand new uh, TXL wiring. So this is high quality silicone sheathed wiring, and you can basically just start over fresh. And it may look intimidating, but most of the time you only need uh, up like 15 to 17 wires to run one of these uh, old BMWs that I mess with. It really doesn't take much. So going through, uh, thinning out the herd, you can actually depin these, take out stuff that you don't need, only get the wires you need, and uh, rewire your entire car on the cheap. So uh, if you're willing to put in a little bit of, of DIY, I I always highly suggest using a flying lead harness like this guy and just wiring it in. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, eventually we're gonna show you how I wire this back into my BMW and just start fresh. I have some old wiring on there that I learned with in the beginning and this will be a good opportunity to show from like start to finish kind of how I lay out the wires in the vehicle and uh, make it so that it's something approachable for a lot of people. But yeah, with that being said, I just wanna thank uh, EFI Source again. Uh, this is awesome. I really appreciate them sending this out. We're gonna look into uh, just getting it fired up on the bench, and then eventually we're gonna put this in my BMW and get it set up. Uh, I'm really excited for the sequential ignition and fuel. That is something that the MicroSquirt can't do due to IO limitations, and I would really love to play around with that and uh, get a little better control out of the 80 pound injectors. EFI Source also sells uh, all kinds of other accessories for EFI. I bought my Siemens deck at 80 pound injectors from them. They sell genuine ones. Uh, they have sensors, pigtails, uh, kind of anything that you need to set up EFI like this, uh, you can get from them. And if they don't show it on their website in a quantity you need or something like that, feel free to, to email them. And uh, they can even like modify some of the stuff as well. You can pay them to modify a micro squirt to run six or eight cylinders. That's actually what I did when I originally set mine up. Um, this is a company that I'm really stoked to work with. Uh, I first learned about them from Sloppy Mechanics, Matt Happel. Uh, he would run their gold box and a few other products and always had uh, good things to say about them and showed some really impressive results with his drag racing. And uh, and that's basically what started my whole channel was, uh, was learning from uh, Matt Happel and then doing a lot of this stuff on my own. And EFI Source has uh, basically been there. All the vehicles that I've learned to tune on were from ESI Source products. So uh, you get the MS3 uh, software package in a really light box with a really good connector, eight foot harness. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below for uh, all this stuff if you wanna check it out yourself. And then just stay tuned in the future. We're gonna be going over everything else that goes along with setting this up. So uh, once again, thanks to EFI Source. Thanks for all of you for watching. If you're interested in uh, something like this, check out the links in the description. And uh, if you uh, are interested, subscribe, like, comment, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.